video directing is basically uh, coming up with a concept in which you want the visuals matching the song to go. Well, video directing in a music contest entails a lot, but in my understanding, I think uh, video directing is a process, a creative process whereby a director in collaboration with the artist, the talent, that's the musician, come together and uh, create an artistic feel or let's say an artistic vibe to help explain the music further in a video form. Um, this point, when you have something representing what the, uh, the music is, when you are trying to, you know, when you are trying to um, portray what the artist really means to the public, that is when we also come in. We also come in like as a music video director and we, we try to sell the artist's creativity, their craft to the world so that the world gets to see what, um, so that the, the world gets to see the personality of the musician, what they are trying to talk to the general public and, you know, representing the music with element, visual elements is kind of a simple way to understand the music. Yeah, so basically that's what I think about um, music video directing the music content. Okay, so, um, who inspired me? I would say Gafachi. He, he, I did his first, I did his, I did, his music video was the first one I did. Uh, he, he told me I, I should try and shoot his video for him because he was my colleague, my, my mate in, in senior high. So he asked me to shoot his video for him. I was then not a director, but I was in a film school, so it's okay. Why not? Let me just try it and do it. So, I mean, but my very first inspiration will be uh, Clockwork. Ato Simpson, Ato Simpson and uh, Emmanuel Japon. I was working for them as an art director, so I was picking a lot of things from them, learning from them until they stopped shooting and then I was left alone so then Gafachi brought up the offer I should shoot his video for him like okay why not let me just try because I've learned some things on the on clockwork set so I picked it hey a whole lot a whole lot I cannot even finish mentioning their names Charlie they are a whole lot in the lives of Prince that's Prince Dovlo who feel what the second a scene uh, a whole lot, a whole lot. Most of them have inspired me, like not most of them, a lot, all of them. They have really, really inspired me. And when you go outside Ghana, Clarence is, 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 is one talented man I respect so much. Clarence Peters is, is a very good video director. And a whole lot, most of the, I cannot, sub, I, I cannot just say one name, like there are a whole lot. And most of them, they inspire me a lot. I think I had I had a lot of people looking at when I was, you know, coming up. I had I had a lot of people, but to mention by a few, I would say I was looking at um, yeah, our Skyface here in Ghana. I was looking at um, Nana Kofi Esiahini. I was looking at Pascal. I was looking at um, um, Prince Devlo. Oh, yeah, the big names. And outside Ghana too, I was looking at um, the David Myers, the Colin Tillis, the El River, River yeah, and a lot of people. Unlimited LA. I had, I had, I didn't have one person that I was looking at. I had a lot of people that I was watching. I was because I really wanted to, you know, to 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 get to that level, to get to that, you know, the um, the standard, the, the the standard level. You get me? So. Um, I wasn't looking at one person, I was looking at a, a whole lot of um, directors in the industry so that, you know, I get to, you know, pick ideas, have the um, directing skills from each and every one so that I can, you know, build myself with it. So I was looking at a lot of people and I think that that's what has helped me and um, I've gotten to this level, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't know. I mean, I'm doing well for myself. I wouldn't know for other people. Um, 
I do other things on the side, so I don't really feel if it's lucrative or not. But I'm, I'm really, I'm having fun with my work. I enjoy every bit of my work, so I've not quantified it as as it being lucrative or not. I'm doing other things to fuel my passion. I'm doing other businesses to help me do my directing work that I'm doing. So lucrative. I can't quantify, but fun I'm having. I, I love what I, what I do. Yeah, you saw me laughing. It's very, very lucrative. It becomes more lucrative when you hit the, where the bigger guys are. In the likes of Nana Kofi, Esia Hine, Esi Hine, Kofi, who are the second, Babs, uh, and a whole lot, a whole lot, General Jays. And outside, you see, oh, Charlie, if he, it's, it's a whole lot. It gets more and more interesting. You get more and more very lucrative when you are build when you build a brand to some limits. Like you don't struggle for contracts. You don't struggle for shoots. The shoots rather come to you. Like it's very very creative, and you get a whole lot of money. Oh yes, I think I think yeah. When you when you when you know when you know what you want, right? And you know um, your your standard, and then you know the people that you're going to work with, you know, considering your, 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 your team, like your production team, you know, with the makeup artists, the stylists, the hairstylists, the art directors, the set designers, you know, considering all these people and considering yourself, considering the concept that you are doing, and you, 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 you are able to charge for it to cover all these people. I think it's cool. It's, the budget sometimes is not good, but I would say music video is not a bad business. It's a very good business when you know what you are, what you are, what when you know what you're really doing. Yeah. So I think music video is not bad. The directing, the directing business is, is kind of a good job that when you really you know you know put yourself to it, you are going to make it. For us, we just started and we are hoping to get more in future. Yes, that's what we hope for. <laughs> The content of the music is ever evolving. So, obviously, three months ago will not be the same as today. As we're doing the interview, everybody's learning. The artists, they are understanding some. They are understanding lots of things. We the directors, we want to do more for their songs. But back in the day, they like they don't have money and they don't think it's achievable and all that. But now. Because of technology, we have like amazing cameras, lenses, gimbals, and it's making the work a little easier if you have like a dope concept. It's, there's, there's a big gap now. There's a big difference now. See, at first, most of the music videos we sh they shot in Ghana wasn't having a lot of movement in it, like camera movements. Movements. Most of the shots were on tripods and like, yeah, most of the shots were on tripods. But due to technology, you have motorized sliders, you have cranes, you have gifs that will aid you to get moving camera like angles, Charlie, it be serious. And right now the VFX department has improved tremendously. So right now the green screening, the chroma key and everything, they are top notch. And right now the camera quality, the cameras, we like in the system right now, they are comparable to none. They are they are serious. At first, technology wasn't that strong, and so they were using the old uh, camcorders and stuff. But right now, we are shooting raw. Right now, we are shooting raw. We are shooting log formats. We are shooting C logs, S logs. We are shooting a whole lot. We are shooting raw. So right now, the capability is higher, and. Uh, Talent is also higher, so right now it's 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 better. It's better than first. It has improved over 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 a period of time, and at first, you know, we used to see music videos with a lot of effects, you know, not really good effects, but you know, people trying to do good, um, people trying to do effects, and it's not working, but it still goes out and all that. But today, today, the generation, the new directors that have come on board, we. Have, Talking about um, the Babs, the Andy Majite, and myself, uh, you know, a lot of people like 
we, we would like to do the correct things, you know, we don't have to, we, like, we, we can't say we'll be doing what our predecessors did. We have to put ourselves to that level, to that David Myers, to that Colin Tibbs level. So I think we've improved. Looking at looking at the videos that we are producing, um, this guy David Nicose, looking at his words, you can you can even compare it to the Colin Tillis, to the outsiders, you know, because we are really working down here. And I think when when the foreigners, when the you know the people out there also see our works, they sometimes you know go crazy like, whoa, is, is this coming from Ghana? Is this coming from Africa? They never, they, they never expected that you could produce something, some magics here like that. And here are we today, we are producing magic. So we thank God, you know, the film industry has grown over the decades and, you know, it's, it's kind of good. We are still hoping it, it gets better, you know, because we are not there yet. So we need to, you know, help ourselves and, you know, get to that level. Follow your passion. Be determined and don't stop with no's. If someone says no, it doesn't mean you should stop. Keep pushing, keep persevering. You need to have a plan for your passion, else it will dwindle. Have a plan for your passion. And there's no quick fix situation. You need to go through the process. Learn every day, go through the process, go through the process. My name is Kobi, Kobi Alta, and I am a filmmaker, not just a music video director. I'm a filmmaker by passion. Continue learning, hard work. Don't forget to listen to people's advice because advice will take you a very, very long way. And continue striving, continue striving. And it's not always about money. Sometimes you, there are some projects you don't, you shouldn't take money. You should just let like the vibe flow because if it's always about money, it should, it should, it, 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 the, the business is about money, but you shouldn't always follow money. Sometimes you need to do things out of passion, out of love to people. Yeah, so uh, what, I, what, what, I, what I would say to people is be yourself, be open-minded, be hardworking, and be creative. Stay creative. People, my name is Prifti Amponse Siyama. Uh, I'm a graduate from the University of Education in Winneba, and I was in the Department of Graphic Design. Currently, I'm a video editor, director, and a motion artist. Thank you. Just be themselves. They should explore, be different, and be passionate about the job. Consistency is also one, one factor. It's a major factor. It's not even one factor. It's a major factor, consistency. Keep doing what you are doing, right? Keep doing it. Advance yourself, explore, do different things. Like, call people, call your friends, call, if you know any, any musician somewhere, your friends, call them. If you, if you have a female friend that wants to be a model, call the person. Try your hands on the person. Like, do something. Even if it's your phone, keep practicing. And, and sometimes you can, you know, advance yourself. You can buy a better camera and, you know, start shooting better videos. But I would say consistency. Consistency is, is a major factor. Just keep on trying. But remember to be different. Bring something new to to, to existence and I promise you, gonna, you are going to be a better director. My name is Frimpong Prince, popularly known as Frimpong Chucky Jr. I'm a music video director and I'm a pastor from the University of Education, Winneba, from the graphic design department, DESOC. We create to inspire. I still remember that.